Hello and uh, a warm welcome to you. I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars, and today's car is the Subaru Legacy uh, boxer engined four cylinder turbo diesel, uh, 150 brake horsepower car, sport or REN model, I believe, uh, in metallic blue. Just one owner from new, private keeper with a nice history as well. I think about eight Subaru stamps, followed by one independent guy. Uh, two keys. It's got the sat nav, the heated seats, the full leather interior, and uh, it's done a bit of mileage. This one, 126 or thousand miles, which um, has brought the price down nicely. So if you've been looking and waiting for one of these, which uh, I certainly have been, they've uh, not been very frequently uh, on my list. Uh, mostly three liters and two and a half liter legacies, and the odd outback here and there. So this is the first time I've had one, and the drive of it actually is pretty impressive. It's nice and quick. Uh, it's nicely run in this one, so he's obviously done a bit of motorway work on the 08 2008 car. Uh, yeah, all good. Drives well, handles well, and uh, has the uh, the usual sort of attributes of the symmetrical four-wheel drive system. Supplied by Sparshats, and uh, although the number plates have gone a bit discoloured, we'll get some new plates for the car. Twin exhaust has the uh, parking sensors on the rear, the rear wash wipe, high-level brake light, and a fitting spoiler for the back. The tyres uh, got 17 inch wheels, we'll run around those in a little bit more detail. But uh, this is just a quick run around just to show you what the car's like. It is taxed till the end of the month, so uh, if you're quick, you can make use of that. You'll have to stump up the 170 for 12 months road fund. And again, the dealer Spa Shats plates on the front there. So uh, there is a service section coming up, so bear with if you uh, want to watch that. So what we'll do then is we'll run around any little imperfections and things that might uh, interest you. So obviously a car of this mileage uh, has got some light stone chipping to the front bumper and uh, the uh, the front of the bonnet. Has the big uh, power scoop there for the intercooler. Front fogs, the lenses are all good, nice modern styled headlights. Uh, this tyre here is uh, not far off new actually, uh, plenty of tread on there. And I'm just trying to see if I can see what the pads are. They've, they're covered up by the caliper, I'm afraid, so I can't quite tell how much uh, meat is on the pads. But we do have two locking wheel nuts for each wheel. Two locking wheel nuts with the car. That's an Avon tyre. And uh, those rear uh, discs don't look like they've uh, been long on the car, actually. So Avon tyre there, and there's plenty of meat to go on that one. The boot space uh, has been used, as you'd expect, on a car like this. There are some tailor-made uh, fitting carpet mats some sort of little cubby holes here and there plenty of luggage cabinets and let's have a look what we've got in terms of spare wheel there's a skinny spare and the tool kit's in there as well there's the baggage cover and there are three inertia wheel safety belts and three headrests for the passengers in the back and the usual sort of 60 40 split folding rear seat this uh, wheel again uh, practically new so that tire uh, plenty of tread a little bit of curbing to that tire that wheel there in fact they've all got a little bit of curbing on these wheels but uh, I'm hoping that you're not expecting too much for the price that uh, this car is up for. It's very reasonably priced indeed. This tyre is getting a little bit low and um, will pass its next MOT but uh, isn't going to be probably on the car for the end of the year. The driver's door's got a little uh, few marks to describe here. A little ding which would benefit from some touch-in paint and a little scratch there which has been touched in but uh, yeah well for that all pretty good looking car really uh, the glass on the front let's just check the screen a few little minor chips nothing of any consequence so no spends to make on the screen lovely big uh, glass sunroof which uh, is tilt and slide and uh, after driving this car for about 25 miles I can report that uh, it's all good Right, let's go and have a look at the uh, history section then. Okay, welcome to the documents then for the Subaru Legacy. Firstly, V5 just shows one owner from new, uh, 10th of the 5th, 2008, Subaru Legacy R Boxer Turbo Diesel, 154 grams per kilometre, which is just 170 pounds a year to tax. Uh, could be less actually, but I think 154 is 170. Uh, we can tax the car at the local post office, which is just up the road, although there is tax to the end of April. Uh, -bom. Blue is the colour, and it's 1998 CC, so just one owner from new. The current MOT is until May the 10th, 2013, so uh, just give it nine days from now, and we shall uh, put a new MOT on it. 
and it's got a couple of tyres which look uh, like they may be close to the legal limit on the last MOT, but that was just the only advisories. But we'll see when it goes through its test. So call me about that. Um, obviously, if, it's, if it, you're calling before the 10th of May, it may still have just the MOT till then. Uh, the service history comprises of both some receipts and a stamped up book. It's the original service book and there are plenty of Subaru main dealer stamps in here, which I shall just get to. So, um, Spa Shats, which were the supplying dealer to the first service at 12 now, then again at 23, then at 25, then at 47, and then at 16, and at 72, and at 84. And then at uh, 97, it went into a, uh, a private garage, which I believe we've got some receipts for £409. So, the service it was at seven, uh, 72,000 miles, service was 428 and then the last service, which uh, only they only put eight uh, little sections for stamping, so it's gone to the back here, which I've just written in. It was 118,000 miles, and there was a uh, drive shaft uh, oil seal done. So these are the receipts that we've got here, just general um, uh, service items, really. £409, 428 There's the replace, actually, it was a gearbox rear output shaft seal, so that's been done. It was 102 a minor leak on that that's been sorted out that was at uh, December 2011 some brake pads fitted uh, again December 2011 441 pounds brake pads brake pads brake clean and uh, some tires uh, 264 pounds and uh, last service here I've got uh, 12th of the 10th 2012 was at 116 just a straightforward oil service 118,000 miles Okay, so plenty of history there with the car and uh, spare keys. We've got two keys which are both remote and the sat nav discs which are present. Okay, back to the car. All right, welcome back then. So let's uh, jump in the car and show you the inside. Right, so there's four electric windows all around, centre armrest, and the leather seats are in pretty good order actually, not too bad condition. Uh, Isofix times two. Map pocket, usual things. Carpet mats, obviously, to cover these uh, cream carpets, which are in pretty good order still. Moving up the front here, because we've got four electric windows, tinted glass, electric mirrors, which are folding as well. Uh, looks like we're going to need the ignition on. You can normally program this up to uh, to fold when the doors are uh, set. So um, I don't think it's set at the moment. Let's just uh, alarm it. No, they're not set, but uh, I would have thought they are. Normally manufacturers make them so that you can manually set them to go in and out, but they do work. Let's just uh, turn the ignition on. In fact, we'll start this car up. So you can see all the lights go out as they should. Traction control, ABS, the power steering. So they're all going out as they should. Okay, there's the uh, electric mirror switch. So electric mirrors in and out. So manually adjustable electric seats, high adjustable with memory settings. The pedal rubbers are in good order and the driver's seat here is in pretty good order still. If you want to detail it up feel free to but we've gone to some decent level of cleaning it could probably go a bit further depends on how much you want to do really. So there's that lovely big sunroof with a blind as well. There's the passenger seat, the centre armrest, cup holders, auxiliary inputs, cigarette lighters, uh, I'm not sure if this is dual zone, uh, dual zone aircon, uh, DVD nav system, uh, all the books, load of uh, old tax discs, owner's manuals for uh, various things here, uh, for the sat nav system, and we do have uh, all the owner's manuals somewhere, uh, where are they, they are around, there they are, absolutely, just up there, sorry I was going a bit blind, okay so you've got that, fingertip control for the uh, cruise control, Nice radio CD system, touch screen on the sat nav, and it gives you all the usual info display with the map, menu, uh, sort of locations, info. Uh, we've got uh, some dials as well, this is quite a nice little feature. Uh, average MPG, fuel consumption, and acceleration. So as you move away, this these dial up, show you your, uh, your acceleration levels. Don't know really if you need that, but uh, it's there. Okay, so five-speed manual. This one, 
brake's good, the clutch is fine. Although original clutch, so it's a little bit stiff, but nothing much to worry about. I broke my knee, so I normally find much uh, if a clutch is slightly stiff, it notices for me, but uh, I think you'll find that's all okay. Um, yeah, nicely uh, weighted, easy power steering for parking. I suspect it gets heavier as you drive the car. Um, I didn't feel that light when I was uh, on the flight. Outside temperature gauge, aircon, that all works fine. You can hear the compressor click in and uh, the revs dip, move around. Okay, so engine's fine. Timing chain on this engine. You've got no cam belt to have to mess about with. There's the uh, puddle lights and things. So all idling over, a nice, respectably priced Boxer Legacy. If you've always fancied one, the three litre petrol one is the one I always like with the auto box. But of course they're thirsty, you're not gonna get much more than 20, 25 to MPG out of one of those. And then you've got this one here, which make an excellent uh, tow car as well, I should imagine. 150 brake horsepower. Nice dark blue metallic, one owner, Legacy Sports. I'll leave you with that shot. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.